Hey everyone, it's Kara here from Boho Berry and I have a very quick little tutorial for you today on how to use my digital stickers. So earlier today I posted my May digital plan with me video and I was using some custom stickers that I created in Procreate and I just wanted to show you how to use those on your iPad. So I'm actually going to go to my website, Boho Berry, if I can type. <laughs> Com. And I'm going to go to my tribe resource library and type in my password. And I'm going to scroll down to digital planner cherry blossoms. And if you're on your iPad, uh, all you have to do is press and hold. And you will see the option to either preview or download. So if you preview, it's going to show you everything that you're getting in this download. Uh, if you're on your laptop, you can simply hover over it and click. All right, so I'm going to go to download and it's a zip file. And I'm going to hit open in and I'm going to copy to iZip. iZip is an app that allows you to unzip files on your iPad. So I'm going to copy it there. And yes, I would like to extract all files. All right, so I'm going to tap on that. And I have all of my individual items in here. Here, and I can actually select each of my individual images here. So I'm just going to do one as an example and I'm going to save it. You can save it to your photo library, or you can share, which is what I like to do, and save it to my files. Then it'll ask you where it belongs. So you can save it anywhere you like. So you'll do that with all of the items here, and then you will end up with a file folder on your iPad that looks like this. So first we have a Boho Berry Cherry Blossoms GoodNotes file. So this will allow you to open it up in GoodNotes and everything will already be cropped for you. Then you have the full sheets, if you prefer that. These are transparent background images. And then you have all of the individual images as individual stickers. And then we also have a couple of Procreate brushes. So I'm actually gonna go into GoodNotes and I'm gonna show you how that GoodNotes file works. All right, so this is my sticker book and I actually wanna go table of contents and I wanna go to my spring page, which is where I'm gonna be adding those in. All right, here we go. Now I want to go out of this completely and I want to add a new notebook and I want to import. Import from wherever you saved it to. I'm going to go to my iCloud Drive and my stickers folder here and get my Boho Berry Cherry Blossoms GoodNotes file. All right, so that's going to open up. And there we go. And you'll see if you try to lasso, these are all already individually cut for you. So I'm actually going to lasso this whole page since I want to keep all my stickers in the same sticker book. I'm going to hit copy, go back to my sticker book, tap and hold and hit paste. And I'm going to resize these to fit this page. There we go. And there I have my new stickers in my sticker book and ready to use in GoodNotes. All right, the second thing that comes in your bundle is going to be some Procreate brushes. So let me just create a new layer here, turn all this off. And I'm gonna use a black brush. And I already have these saved under Boho Berry Doodles. There's a cherry blossom and cherry blossom branch but I'm gonna show you how to import these into Procreate so that you can use them. So I'm gonna swipe up here and I'm gonna open up my files on the right hand side and I'm gonna to go to my Procreate brushes folder and I'm actually gonna select both of these and I'm gonna drag them into my brush library here. And it's that easy, it pops up, it names them. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these since I don't want duplicates. All right, let's get rid of files and I'll show you how these brushes work. So this is just a plain stamp brush. So you can choose your size here and you can kind of see in the preview how big that's gonna be, but you just stamp it right in the middle of the page and you have that image there. And then with the blossom bundle, same thing. Might be a little large. There we go. 
and then you are free, and these are transparent, obviously, so you're free to color these in however you want. Uh, one method of coloring them, let me go to my Cherry Blossom palette. This is the palette I used to color these to begin with. All right, so I'm gonna take this lighter pink, and let's zoom in here. And you can just drag and drop the color into wherever you want to color things in. So I'm gonna go with a green. And then what's cool is you can kind of have fun with this too and use different brushes to add shading. Um, really the sky's the limit with what you can do with these. And of course you can rearrange things. And once you have it stamped in here too, the really cool thing is that you can take your lasso tool if you wanna separate it, say you don't like where these little uh, petals, extra petals are, you can just lasso those and move them around somewhere else if you, whatever floats your boat. All right, y'all, that is gonna do it. I tried to make this as quick as possible. Hopefully I'll get better at making quick little tutorial videos here in the near future, but I thought you'd like to see uh, all the different elements that come in that free Cherry Blossom download. And remember, you can get that in the Tribe Resource Library. And if you're not already signed up, that link is in the description box below as well as all the tools, supplies, apps, everything that I used in this video. All right, y'all, have a great rest of your day. See you tomorrow. Bye.